Welcome back to Primetime News and a special welcome to those of you watching on OneSpotMedia.com. Six people are dead and ten others injured following motor vehicle crashes in Kingston and St. Elizabeth on Sunday. Giovanni Dennis has that story. Even with seatbelts on, this may have been difficult to survive. And so it was. The four occupants, two males and two females, of this Toyota Pro Box died around six this morning on the Palisados Main Road in Kingston. The vehicle collided with this Toyota Prado. Police have only identified one of the dead so far. Two other people are in hospital following the collision. Senior Superintendent Stephanie Lindsay is head of the JCF's corporate communications. We understand that the Prado was heading to the Port Royal direction. The Pro Box was heading towards Kingston. They were able to identify the driver as the Delroy Grant from a Pomo St. Catherine address. The other three, they are still trying to find out who they are. Passers-by gathered in the aftermath, looking on as firefighters and police processed the scene. SSP Lindsay says police are appealing to anyone who may have witnessed the crash to make contact with the nearest police station or call 911. Now over in St. Elizabeth, two people are dead and eight in hospital following three separate crashes. About 4 a.m. this morning, it's reported that a grey Toyota Corolla was travelling west along Holland Bamboo Avenue when the driver crashed into a light pole. All four occupants reportedly sustained major injuries. 40-year-old Anisha Watson of a Black River address was pronounced dead at hospital. Meanwhile, a 17-year-old student of Manchester High died from injuries he sustained in a two-vehicle crash in Santa Cruz. He's been identified as Jahim Calbert. Reports are that Jahim was travelling along the Gilnock Main Road when another motorist swerved and collided with his vehicle. Firefighters were called to the scene to remove Jahim who was trapped in the wreckage. The male driver of the other vehicle and a female occupant were taken to hospital. In the meantime, there was another crash involving three people in Silo. All three are in hospital. The car in which they were travelling ran off the Rahim Main Road into a ditch. Vice Chairman of the National Road Safety Council, Dr. Lucian Jones, is appealing to motorists to slow down. 451 people have died on our road so far, and we have 20 days left for the end of the year. Last year, 487 people died. This does not have to happen. For God's sake, just slow down, and we can save so many lives in this country. Giovanni Dennis, TVJ News.